Hello there, Aquarius. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly video tarot forecast for the week of July 27th through August 2nd. I am using the Russian tarot of St. Petersburg again, and what we have coming up for you on Monday is we have the World Card. Now, the World Card is a card of limitations. So this card is really talking about the world is your limitation. Um, I like to look at that as wide open, no limitations. So Monday you're experiencing a day when you have great, great, great opportunities that are coming into you and it is only up to you to take those on and run with them. The only thing really that limits you is your own ideas about what you can and can't do. So Monday, excuse me, a really, really, really awesome day. Now Tuesday what we have showing up is we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is one of those cards that it's great to get it in reverse. This is just talking about that there's been a situation in your life where people have been sort of um, acting against you or maybe even more speaking against you than acting against you. And so what's happening when you have the Ten of Swords in reverse is that all of that kind of activity that's been going on is now falling away. Any effects of that are now falling away. And um, to me, it doesn't feel so much like there's any particular thing that has triggered the, you know, the shutdown of this speaking against you that's been going on, but it feels like the people who were speaking against you have gotten distracted by other things and kind of wandered off to do other things. So Tuesday feels like there's some kind of distraction coming along for these people and they're not going to be so interested in just bad-mouthing you for no apparent reason. <laughs> so that's a good thing to actually have that come to an end. It's kind of a relief to have that come to an end. Now Wednesday, what you have coming up Aquarius is you have the Four of Clubs in reverse. And the Four of Clubs in reverse is just talking about um, a temporary separation basically. Now this could be in your love life but this could also be talking about Maybe somebody from your office is transferring to a different branch for a couple of weeks to cover for somebody else, or maybe just for a day or two. It doesn't, you know, the time frame is not so much important as just knowing that it's just a temporary separation. It's a temporary departure. Um, this is actually when I look at this card, what I think of as my key words are leaving the nest. So this is somebody coming out of the nest, and typically this is a, like I said, a temporary situation. It's not anything that's permanent, although. Sometimes, especially when it comes to romantic relationships, it can look like it's going to be permanent. <laughs> it might feel at the moment like it's permanent, but um, typically turns out to be a, t a uh, temporary situation. Now, on Thursday, what we have showing up for you, Aquarius, is the Death card in reverse. The Death card in reverse is talking about that you really have some core level changes coming in. Um, these are changes to your core values. And when I talk about core values, what I'm talking about are those values that we pick up when we're too young to know better. These are the type of values that you learn by watching how your parents and your teachers interact with each other and interact with the world. So an example of that, so you guys really have a good grip on what I'm talking about here. An example of a core value would be something that was picked up sometimes, say that you were out hiking with your dad or walking with your dad in the yard and your dad saw, and you're a toddler, and your dad saw a snake. And so instead of scooping you up <laughs> and taking you away, dad takes off running for the hills. <laughs> He's panicked. He's freaking out. He saw a snake, and it's totally wigged him out. So now guess what you just learned whenever you saw your dad freak out because he saw a snake? You have learned that snakes freak out the bravest man that you probably know in the whole wide world at that age. And so if a snake is going to freak him out, a snake is going is to freak anybody and everybody out they are worth being afraid of. So you just learned to be terrified of snakes when you see them. Now, were you old enough to think this through and realize that that's really not necessarily something you have to be that freaked out by? That maybe you can just have respect for the snake and let him have his space and he'll have your and he'll leave you your space? No, you're not old enough to think that through. You just saw demonstrated to you this core value. Now it becomes a part of you. 
Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. That's a core value. So you have some changes coming in on a core value level. So some of those values that you learned when you were too young to know better. And what's going on is you're feeling that change coming in. You know that it's coming in and you know that it's, it's actually good. But the thing is you're resisting this change. Now usually somebody doesn't resist a change like this unless they're afraid of what is the impact going to be on their life. Because a lot of times when a core value changes, it can change the way we interact with coworkers. It can change how we feel about our job. It can change how we interact with our loved ones. So it can bring a lot of really deep-seated changes into our lives. And so many times when I see people resisting these changes, it's because they're afraid of what is this going to bring? How is this going to impact me and how I interact with people and things in my life? So that's kind of what I see going on here for you guys on Thursday. Here's the thing, because you have the chance to look at this before it happens, you have free will and you can change this energy. You can make it so that this is not true. So whenever you see these changes coming in, when you feel yourself resisting them, if you can turn that around and embrace these changes and move forward with them, that's always a good thing. And the reason that's always a good thing is because when we're changing core values, it's generally because we're realizing that something isn't working for us. And so we're replacing it with a core value that is going to be more productive and work better for us and help us to be happier. So if we can embrace that change and bring it into our lives and let it fully process, then the result is once we've gone through that process on the other side, we're much happier than we were before this change actually came in. So here's hoping that you guys who see this ahead of time will have a chance to do that and to embrace this change and move forward with it and make yourselves happier. All right, so that was Thursday. Friday, what we have showing up is we have the Ace of Coins. Now, this just means somebody is giving you a gift on Friday. Now, definition of gift, something that is not earned. So this person is going to be giving you this thing out of the goodness of their own heart. All right, and this could be anything. This could be anything. Hopefully, it won't be something like an old pair of holy socks. It could be that you win the lottery. That would definitely be a gift. It could be that um, your great Aunt Matilda wants to buy you a car. That would certainly be a gift. It could be that you get a bonus from work. That would be considered a gift. Something that you don't earn. Okay? So that's what we see coming in on Friday, Aquarius. And then on Saturday, we have the Three of Coins. When I see this, especially in this deck, I think of Creative Adventures. So Saturday, I do see you doing something creative, something festive. Um, you could be making music. You could be watching music someplace. Um, you could be making art. You could be watching art. There's a lot of different things that could be going on. You could be doing theatrical work, or you could be watching theatrical work. But there's some kind of creative thing going on, and you are either going to be a part of it on Saturday, or you're going to be a spectator to it and thoroughly enjoying it on Saturday. Okay, and let's see. What's next? Sunday, what we have showing coming up for you is the Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups is really all about memories and fond memories. So this is telling me that you're going to be kind of looking back at a certain time in your life. Maybe you have some old friends coming over, or maybe you're going to be seeing your family or talking to somebody in your family, but there's going to be something that triggers you looking back and sharing these memories with somebody and just almost thinking, you know, that was so nice. I kind of wish we could go back to that. All right, so Aquarius, that is your week. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by and hanging out with me. I appreciate all the likes, all the shares, all the subscribes. That is so wonderful. Thank you so much. And for everybody who would like to get a private reading with me, please check out my website. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you've poked around there a little bit, if you still feel like I'm the best reader for you, go ahead and contact me, and we will schedule you a session as quickly as possible. Right now, my wait list is pretty good. I can probably get you in the day that you contact me or the day after. So if you want to get in for a reading really quickly, this is a good time to do it. <laughs> so thank you everybody for stopping by and hanging out. Everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see you here next week. Peace out.